all right guys model rocks 321 here welcome back to the channel flying solo today gonna do the best i can to try to get some nice footage gonna have a couple flights the temperature's been really high but today is not too bad this morning anyway got some cloud cover a little overcast so that's kind of shielding the sun keeping the temperature just at bay it might still rise up but i'm gonna try to um get a couple flights off and um you know bring you guys some content as usual and uh, we'll see what it see what happens so today i'm going to be flying the challenger one we have that set up to go first um also be sure to subscribe to the channel guys if you're new also hit the thumb up button and we will be right back let's check this flight out model rocks 321 flying the challenger one it will be going on a b64 model rocks 321 all right so here we go range is clear sky is clear going in five four three two one going way up above me and there we have an event we have the streamers coming down nice flight coming down pretty fast on the streamer I see but it's coming down the streamer is doing its job heading over and that is the Challenger 1 first flight of the day and we got a touchdown it is behind this little ridge. If I just walk straight, I won't miss it. Because right now I can't see it. As you know, if you saw the last launch video, we lost the so long rockets. But we will be doing those again. Went pretty high on the B64. I'm gonna keep things low and slow because we do have cloud cover. You don't really want to go into the clouds. Because you know you go in the clouds, you don't see that ejection happen, you can lose it. So I'm just keeping things easy today. Like I said, it's solo mission, flying solo. And we are gonna do it. This model rocks three two one i said it again let's get this rocket and here we have the challenger one vintage estes rocket this rocket is very old i mean i, I forget the years somebody on there somebody on here knew the year of this one but yeah very old rocket old design i like it found it on ebay whole kit this is one of the ones you flew on the lantern batteries where you launched it on the lantern batteries as the power source so pretty nice nice and high on the b64 that's what i wanted low and kind of slow took off pretty nice so pretty cool it's my rock three two one let's continue also i want to say thanks to joe joe i got your package i'm gonna receive the package in the mail in the p.o box joe sent a nice gift there's gonna be a video coming up of that if you didn't see it already if it didn't air already but I appreciate that, Joe. There's a P.O. box. Thanks for the support. He sent a little, um, a little, a little package. If you didn't see it already, that's pretty nice. Also, thank you to another donor who donated some a cash app. I got a cash app donation, so I appreciate that. Actually, it's PayPal. PayPal donation. Just check the links below if you wanted to show any kind of support like that. If not, hit the thumb up, drop comments, share your ideas. Appreciate it, and we will continue. Next up, guys, we got the Century Taurus. Going to be going on a B-62. This is a nice, nice rocket vintage from way, way back by Century before Estes bought them out. So we're going to be flying that one right now. Get another flight off. It's Model Rock 321. Let's go. Range is clear. Sky is clear. Going in three, two, one. There he is on a B-62. Out real quick. Parachute is out. Coming down right above us. Real nice flight. That B-62 is very short. So, yeah, look at him coming down. Nice parachute. Everything seemed to be together. That a singe parachute? Maybe a little singe on him, but it's back home. Safe and sound. Nice. What we got? Look, I got a singe parachute. It's a very little small compartment that right there for um, wadding. Everything else seems to be... Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah, a little singe. Maybe that's singe. A little singe, but still came down. Pretty, pretty nice. Pretty good flight of the Century. I like the Taurus. It's a nice rocket. Model Rocks V21. Next up, guys, we have the Stealth Alpha. See the Skunk Works right there on the fin. We will be flying this guy on a C11-5. Let's go. Low and slow today. Low and slow. Model Rocks V21 because the temperatures have been 321 degrees here in Arizona. So I just want to bring you guys a little content. Hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to this channel. Hit the thumb up button, hit the notification, so when I drop new videos, you'll be the first to
to see it. It's Model Rocks 321. Let's go. All right, here we go. Stealth Alpha. Range is clear. Sky is clear. Going in three, two, one. There he is way up there on the C-11. Wow. Parachute popped out of there fast. Everything's together. It's coming down over the range. Coming down pretty fast. I always remember that that parachute was a little small because I was flying it really high when I first got it. I mean, when I first scratch built it, and I was flying on like F-44s and I didn't want it to drift off. So there he is coming down and look like the grassy area. Kind of a hard hit though. Let's go. But those are through the wall fins. So they should be good. They should be good. It's Model Rocks 321. I said it again. I'm going to say it some more. Guys, also share the channel. You can copy the link. You can send it in a text message to a friend. I don't mind. You can put it in some kind of groups. Share, share, share. Model Rocks 321. Share the link. Share it to a family friend that has kids. Get them involved in our great hobby. Yeah, we look like we're all together. Yeah, that, that short delay, that was a C11-3. I don't think it was a 5. I think that's a 3. I always forget. Yeah, it's really hot. But yeah, there's the engine. Everything's together. Came down pretty fast. This is the scratch built one. I gotta make this available. I'm gonna put um put the PDF together. Get it out there. Oh, got a little zipper. Oh, I got a little zip right there. Small little zip, but he's okay. It's model rocks three, two, one. Thanks for tuning in, guys. That is all the flights for today as the temperature is starting to kick up. It was nice when the sun was behind those clouds. But now the sun, I mean the temperature is starting to get up there. It's probably already a hundred, if not 102. And it's only 7.30 in the morning, so it's time to pack this up. Saw a couple flights. We're going to bring you more content, more flights. Going to keep going with this. Now, the, as the temperatures cool down, we will get more flights going. So, it's my Rocks 321. Be sure to subscribe to the channel again. Share the link. Uh, check the links below to support. Support the Estes discount. Get that discount. Put that code in, IN321. I mean, IN underscore 321. Put that in at EstesRockets.com. Get yourself a discount. Um, what else is there? Yeah, check the links below and um, that's about it. Stay tuned for the debriefing. We're going to show you everything that took place today. My Rocks 321. So guys, before we debrief, I want to go on a little field trip and take a high vantage point to take a look for the so long. It may be, you know, I just want to get up a little higher. I might be able to spot it. But... I don't think it landed back in the field, so I may not be able to spot it from where I'm going to go. I just want to check it out, though, anyway. Let me yeah, keep going. I'm going to go all the way up to the roof. All the way up. This is before I debrief, so I'm going to get up here and just look around. This is the launch area. This is where I fly. Now I can look and see if I can see anything bright orange or red white just in case it came back towards me it took it took off it went way over that way over those buildings over that one building in the center it was over that way more I already checked all the way out there just wanted to look from up here to see maybe if it came back down in our area so I don't see anything. I flew the drone all over this area and all back there behind those buildings. I, I, I did my due diligence. So it's either on a roof or in somebody's yard and they're not caring. So some neighborhoods back there too. So it would have been nice to see those, see something from up here. I just had to take a look while I was here today. So on to the debrief. Mile Rock 3 2, 1. Okay, so you just witnessed three flights today here on July 29th or July 30th. Very hot day or hot here in Phoenix these days. It's been scorching as everybody knows. The whole country's been hot. So, But I did manage to get three flights off. Um, I was going to go for this one again on a C67, but I decided not to push it. So I changed out the uh, parachute on this for a streamer. I just took a streamer and I double... I tied a knot and made two longer um, pieces coming from it. You know, it, it flew pretty well and it recovered pretty good on this one. I flew it on, on one of the Quest motors, on the B64, um, one of the Quest B64 motors. Flew really nice. I see a little plug there. I'm not sure what happened there, but 
yeah, this is this is weird. Like it had um it thrusted and everything, went up, flew really nice. Classic, classic, old school rocket, the um, Challenger one. So there it is right there. I see a little burn here. I guess on ejection got a little little burn right there. I don't think that was there before, but yeah, really nice flight on the challenge of the Challenger one. So that was the first one of the day. Like I said, I was gonna fly it again, but all I had was like C53 and C67, and I didn't really feel like rockets going too high today and having to trek around and all that kind of stuff. So it went good. Nice flight. Next up, I flew the Vintage Century Taurus. Flew that one on a. I know it was another B engine. Went really high too. This rocket can get up there pretty good on the B engines. So. And that was on a B-62. Probably should have had a longer delay because it flew and it popped it right out right away. Like there was no delay at all. Like two seconds is pretty much nothing. It was still traveling, you know, at a pretty um, high rate of speed. But no damage or anything like that. I thought the parachute had a singe, but the parachute was fine. It looked like it may have, it may have had a small singe actually, but flew flew uh, really, really great. So it was a nice flight of the, uh, sin, the uh, Taurus. So there that is, classic, classic rocket. Another 70s, probably same time period as the Challenger 1. Very old school, nice design, nice rocket. That'd be a nice bring back too. And last but not least was my scratch built Stealth Alpha. Let me get this motor out of here. This was probably a C11-3. I think I was saying C11-5, but it was a C11-3 is the way the nose cone just popped right off there. Bury any delay again. Yeah, C11-3, three second delay is like, wasn't very much. It was still traveling pretty fast. And um, it probably has a little nice little weight to it. But I did get this small little zipper right here. Small little zipper. You know, yeah, it popped out. The yeah, news coming really quick after the delay fired. Or ejection charge fired. But yeah, everything is pretty cool with it. Other than this, and get this. Might fix this. Or maybe not. So this is a flyer. This is a sport model flyer. So yeah, it will be easy to fix. We'll put it back in place. Fill it in. Sand it. Fill it. Sand it. It's a way to get this fixed. Um, yeah, so Stealth Alpha had a good day. All rockets had a good day um, after losing the So Long, which is still out there. Man, hopefully somebody finds it and they're generous enough to call the number. You had a spacer in there because this flies on um, on some of the longer 24 millimeter motors. Yeah, hopefully somebody finds it and they're generous enough to return the So Long. That would be really nice. So nothing yet though, no information yet. I got my numbers on there. Oops, my numbers on that fin. Um, if somebody were to want to return it, if it's even found, if it's not in some location where where it's not seen, um, that could be another thing. I drove all around. I checked the area. I was kind of gauging where it could come down, and I searched. I did a good search. Good search like three times I went actually went back last it was last Sunday morning I went back out now I went back into the field where I fly at down the further end looked all down there and nothing just nothing I put the drone up not last not the last time I went out I had the drone up on the initial searches but yeah no luck no luck finding her so long is so gone but it's part of this so all right guys that's all I got for today this is model rocks 321 and once again, be sure to subscribe if you're new, hit the thumb up always, and hit the notification bell so when the videos go live, you'll know right away. And that's all I got to say for today. Watch this video that's coming up on the end of this one, and see you guys again. It's my Rockets 3, 2, and 1.